So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after yung two weeks natin na discussion on permutations of objects, so for this week, we will be discussing another topic. So for this video lesson, we will be discussing on how to illustrate combination of objects. So for the lesson objectives, we will define and illustrate combination. So na-discuss po natin kung ano yung permutation dun sa previous video lessons. So, malalaman nyo po niyan kung ano ang pinagkaiba ng permutation tsaka combination. Now, let us first define what is a combination. In mathematics, combination is defined as a technique to identify the number of possible arrangements in a set of objects. Moreover, the order of objects is not important. Objects can be placed in any order. Okay. So, based po dyan sa definition ng ating uh, uh, combination, yung word na combination, the order of objects is not important. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya kagaya ng permutation na kung saan kailangan yung arrangement ng objects ay importante. So, ibig sabihin, we can place uh, the objects in in any order. So, kung, kung paano natin gustong i-arrange yung mga objects, limbawa, yung tao na nagpapapicture, yung ating kinakain, yung combination ng ating kinakain, pwede po natin yun gawin. Kung combination po ang ating pinag-uusapan, pero kapag permutation, kailangan meron po yung order. Okay. So, consider this. Anne Janet, Darwin, Judy Ann, Royce, and Webster are the top five students in Mr. Peña's mathematics class. By the end of the school year, an annual mathematics competition is being held to test the skills of the students in mathematics. Mr. Peña must choose two out of five of his best students to become the representative of their school. In how many ways can he do that? So, kitang-kita nyo naman, meron po tayo yung top 5 students. Ayan, nakalista po sila. Kaya lang, ang kailangan lang pong isali ni Mr. Peña sa mathematics competition na magaganap ay dalawa lang. So, since lima, lang, lima sila, kailangan po ng dalawang representative ang piliin. So, hindi po sila lahat pwede. Dalawa lang po dun sa lima. So, ang tanong po natin, sa ilang paraan pwedeng Uh, piliin ni Mr. Peña yung kanyang mga contestants o yung kanyang mga students. So, let us have the solution. So, ililista natin yung mga possible combinations. So, ayan po sila. So, since uh, dalawang students lang po, dun sa lima na yan, ang pwedeng piliin ni Mr. Peña So, ayan po yung mga total combinations. Nakalista po sila. So, limbawa, pwedeng piliin niya si Anjanet at si Darwin. Kaya naman, pwede namang si Royce at si Judy Ann. Pwede rin namang si Judy Ann, Darwin. So, ayan. So, kung bibilangin po natin yung mga possible combinations na yan, meron po tayong 20. Ibig sabihin, there are 20 ways daw para uh, piliin ni Mr. Peña yung kanyang mga contestants. However, what have you noticed about the following selections? So, kanina nilista po natin yung ating mga possible combinations. So, anong mapapansin nyo dito? So, Anjanet, Darwin, and Darwin, Anjanet. Okay. So, parehong sudyante po ang ginamit. So, sa first na combination natin, Nauna si Anjanet, tapos si Darwin. And then sa pangalawa naman, Darwin, tapos Anjanet. So, anong napapansin natin dyan? These selections are not considered distinct. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating mga pinagpilian, hindi po sila magkaiba. Ibig sabihin po, pareho lang po sila. So, si Anjanet, Darwin, Darwin, Anjanet, dalawang tao lang po yan. So, kahit na pagpalitin natin ng lugar, si, uh, position yan, kung sino man ang nauna, Pareho lang po sila. Okay. So, if we eliminate similar cases, only 10 possible selections will remain. So, ibig sabihin, 
kung tatanggalin po natin yung mga combinations na umulit lang, like for example, yung position lang ni, ni Anjanet at saka Darwin ang nagaiba, meron lang po tayong sampung possible selections na matitira. So, ito po sila. So, example, si Darwin at saka si Royce. Ayan. So, kung nilista po natin, Royce, tapos Darwin, So, yung ating selection, hindi po yan distinct. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila magkaiba. Darwin, Royce, Royce, Darwin, pareho lang po sila. So, ikakount lang po natin sila as 1. Hindi po natin sila ikakount as 2. Hindi kagaya don sa permutation. So, ang Darwin, Royce, Royce, Darwin, magkaiba po yan. Okay. So, sa combination po, pareho lang po sila. To find the combination of n objects taken at a time, we use the formula. Ayan. Yung formula for combination po is, kukunin po natin yung permutations and then i-divide natin sa r factorial. It's because, kailangan po natin i-divide kasi may mga selections po tayo, may mga objects tayo na magkakapareho lang. So, kagaya ng pinakita ko kanina. And then, ayan po yung pinaka-formula natin, n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial. So, ito po, n is greater than or equal to r pa rin. So, ibig sabihin, yung total number of objects denoted by n should be greater than or equal to r. So, hindi po pwedeng mas madami yung number of objects taken r, r at a time dun sa total number of objects. Like, for example, uh, kung meron two students, si uh, Mr. Peña, our top two students, ang kukunin niyang representative dun sa math competition ay five students, do you think mak mak makakakuha si Mr. Peña ng five students dun sa top two students niya? So, imposible po yun. Dahil dalawa lang po yung top students, kailangan niya lima. Kailangan mas marami yung uh, N. Pwede yung top 5 students and then dalawang students ang kanyang kukunin. Now, let us apply uh, the combination formula. So, para makita natin na 10 lang talaga ang sagot dun sa ating given problem kanina. So, yung N natin doon, number of students, 5 po. And then, R naman is 2. So, 5 ang top students si Mr. Peña. And then, dalawa lang doon ang kanyang kukunin para maging representative. So, sulat natin as C. Ayan. 5, 2. So, yung ito na sinulat ko, pwede rin po siyang isulat as Ayan. So, pwede natin i-denote kasi yung combination as NCR. Ayan. So, di ba yung permutation NPR? So, for combination NCR, N taken R. So, substitute lang natin yung N tsaka R dito sa formula. So, magiging 5 factorial all over 5 minus 2 factorial and then R is 2 factorial. Now, 5 factorial all over the difference of 5 and 2 is 3 factorial 2 times 2 factorial now express natin 5 factorial as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial and then ikakancel natin yung nasa denominator na 3 factorial and then yung 2 factorial that is 2 times 1 so pwede rin natin i-cancel yon and then yung 4 magiging 2 So, uh, multiplying the remaining factors, so 5 times 2. So, ibig sabihin, meron nga tayong 10 ways para uh, iselect yung top 2 students to become the representative of Mr. Peña. Now, let us have an activity. Determine whether the given situation is a combination or not. Okay. So, may mga situation po tayong makikita and then we'll just identify kung combination ba yun or 
not. For number one, winning in a running event. So, manalo sa isang uh, competition, running competition, running event. So, is this a combination or not? So, this is not a combination. Because, meron po kasi tayo ditong mga place. So, meron po tayo ditong first place, second place, and then third place. Wherein, the arrangement is important. Okay, so, hindi pwedeng si first, magiging second pa siya, magiging third pa. Ibig sabihin, kapag may first po, meron din, mer, iba na po yung second. Hindi na pwedeng maging second yung first. Number two, selecting five people to form a group for a research study. Okay, so, mamimili po ng limang people, limang tao. So, this is a combination. Okay, so the the arrangement is not important naman. So, this is a combination. Number three, assigning seats to guests at an engagement party. So, assigning, so mag, maglagay ng mga uh, upuan sa ating mga bisita. So, this is not combination. It's because yung mga relatives, so yung mga relatives na malalapit, dun sa i-engage na tao. Okay. So, siyempre, nandun po sila sa unahan. And then, yung mga mga friends lang, ayan, ako, uh, close friends, maaring nasa likod po sila. So, siyempre, yung mga nasa unahan, yung pong kanilang mga uh, kapamilya. Number four, unlocking a phone using a five-digit passcode. Okay. So, halimbawa, ang password ng cellphone mo ay 12345. Do you think kapag in-enter mo ang 54321, ma-unlock yung cellphone? No. So, kasi kapag uh, password po tayo ng cellphone, kailangan kung ano yung position, yung arrangement ng mga numbers, ganun po natin sila i-enter. -e so, hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin na in-enter naman po natin yung same digits, kailangan magbukas yung cellphone. Hindi po. Kailangan in order po sila. So, this is not combination. So, for our last uh, situation, drawing a set of 6 numbers to win a 645 Lottery. Okay, like for example, ito yung mga combinations sa limbawa ng number na lumitaw. 7, uh, 18, 3, 19, 36, saka 27. Okay, so yan yung mga lumitaw sa loto. So what if ang, ang tinayaan mo ganito? 3, 36, 18, 7, 19, tsaka 27. Do you think mananalo ka? Yes. It's because hindi natin kailangan yung arrangement sa lottery. Okay. So, as long as nakuha mo yung anim na numbers na yon, in any order man yan, mananalo ka po. So, ibig sabihin, this is a combination. So, after discussing with you the illustration of combination of objects, so we will differentiate combination from permutation. So, para mas makilala nyo, malaman nyo kung ano nga ba talaga ang uh, pagkakaiba ng combination and permutation. So, yan po ang ating susunod na video lesson. So, that's all. Thank you.